my channel and thank you so so much for being here i appreciate it and i am so happy to see each and every one of you happy foundation friday today i have a super fun video for you guys it's a collaboration between two of my favorite people here on youtube and we're talking about all of my recommendations for foundations for dry skin so if you want to know more about that hit the subscribe button share this video with somebody you think might like it and let's do it all right, so today's video is in collaboration with Stephanie Marie and Risa Does Makeup. I will link their channels and the videos that go along with this video below in the description box. Please go over and tell them I sent you and that I say hi. But basically what we're doing today is they each have five for their own skin type. For me, we all know that I am dry skin. And so I'm gonna be talking about my five top recommendations for foundations for dry skin. Now these absolutely are my tried and true foundations for this skin type. But Stephanie Marie, as you know, if you guys have, or maybe you guys don't know, you don't watch her, um, you should. She is fantastic. She has oily skin and she has broken down some foundations that she finds uh, to be effective for that skin type. Uh, Stephanie Marie's channel is all about kind of that everyday girl that really is going to give you kind of great tips from a very everyday perspective, a very approachable perspective. She also is just a super kind person and has always supported me from the very beginning and I really appreciate her and enjoy watching her content for sure. She also lives in a different climate than me. I am in Colorado and uh, she is in Louisiana and you know that weather's different and then we also are doing it with Risa Does Makeup. Risa is actually a makeup artist as well as myself and so she comes at it from a background for sure as a makeup artist, um, but she has more combination skin. Uh, Risa actually lives in Vegas and she is just a really kind hearted soul. She's really fun and vivacious. She gives really great tips and techniques and I thoroughly enjoy being her friend as well as being a follower of hers. And I'm really excited to jump into this. So if you guys haven't seen any of those girls, go watch them. Their videos in the description box. All right. So these foundations, I have actually Foundation Fridays on each one of them. And so I will link the playlist below so you can take a look. This was extremely hard for me to pick five foundations. You guys honestly ask me probably every day on Instagram, several of you, what, tell me a foundation, tell me a foundation that's gonna be perfect for my dry skin. And it's really hard for me to narrow it down. A lot of foundations I will start out with this will mimic your skincare. So that's something to really take in consideration. So some matte foundations actually do work for me if I prep my skin properly. But the ones we're talking about now, you probably simply only need a good serum, a moisturizer, and for me, I don't wear primers with these foundations. So it's pretty easy peasy. And I will actually be talking about some of the longer wearing ones as well. So the first one I'm gonna start out with is gonna be no surprise to you. It is the CYO Foundation. This has been sold out all over the place. I believe it's now back in stock. You can get this all over the world. Um, and it is just a really beautiful foundation. The coverage of it is very full coverage. Um, you can absolutely shear it down if you'd like or obviously use less, but this is a super long wearing foundation. Um, so if you were to pair it with a primer, I think that this would also be one of those that if you need a foundation to wear a long time, this is fantastic. And the price point, you really can't beat. Um, the finish of it though, like I said, is really skin-like. It's not overly luminous, so it's really kind of on that middle point of somebody that's normal to dry skin dehydrated could absolutely use this um, I, I honestly pair this with my regular skincare it goes on like a dream you only need a little bit and it is by far one of my very favorite foundations I've worn in a very long time really nice quality product really great my second one is actually a twofer I'm I totally like cheated so I apologize but it is the Kojin Do foundations this is the Kojin Do Moisture Foundation, and this is the Aqua Foundation. I wear this more than I wear this one. The reason being is this is such a beautiful, lightweight coverage, okay? But they all have skincare ingredients in these. This line is packed full of skincare ingredients. Um, so they're great for more mature skin. So just so you know, 
Stephanie, Risa, and myself are all over 40 years old, so this these foundations are more for um, that age range and above. This is one of the most beautiful skin-like foundations I have ever worn, okay? This is, obviously the price point is pretty high, but what they jam pack in it is kind of, you know, is the price point. This is gonna be your more medium to, I'd say, high medium coverage, more on that makeup kind of tip. I'm actually wearing it today. And then this one is going to be your more tinted moisturizer, okay? So it's gonna be a very light, coverage. It's a beautiful coverage. It, it evens out the skin tone really nicely. It has a really nice kind of glowy, dewy look to it. Um, and I love this. This is probably my third or fourth tube. I continuously buy this one. Um, it's really pretty because I use this a lot when I wear, um, like when I'm just running around, you know, just want a nice even coverage. This is what I use. Okay. Now, this one is by the brand Kosas. This is going to be for people that are more dry but dehydrated. Reason being is this is an oil-based foundation with tint in it. It is a, I would say, a high light coverage or a medium coverage of a foundation. This will give you the most beautiful ultimate glow, okay? The only thing is that this is not a super, super long wearing foundation. Now, the Cojin Doe one is longer wearing as well as we talked about the CYO is longer wearing. This again is just more of an everyday run around foundation, so it's not super long wearing. But that is same for Kosas. But the finish that this gives you, the hydration that it gives your skin, it just looks stunning. And it is one of those that um, when I got back from moving, I kind of went through my foundations and was so pleasantly surprised to wear this again. Um, again, it is an oil base, so it's an oil tint. It's like an oil tinted foundation. So it is a little bit runny, um, but it is extremely hydrating for sure. And this is a beautiful, cruelty-free, very clean product line. Kosas is the brand. If you haven't heard of them, please go check them out. Watch my foundation Friday. It is stunning. Stunning foundation. So now for my fourth one is going to be the Flower Beauty. This is the Light Illusion All Day Wear uh, SPF 18, I believe. Yes. And I'll put all the colors I am uh, below. Um, but this price point can't beat it. I picked it up at Walmart. Um, the one thing is the color selection is a little bit lacking, but um, I use two colors to get to my regular color. But the coverage is a high medium coverage. It is extremely long wearing. It is like butter on the skin. Really, really silky, soft, skin perfecting. Absolutely one that is for that more medium coverage and one that is a definitely a lot more long wearing than the others. Um, but this is a beautiful foundation and I enjoy wearing it every single time. Um, and it is a cruelty free company, so yay. For my fifth one is going to be, uh, it's a new rediscovering for me, okay? It's going to be the Light Wonder Foundation from Charlotte Tilbury. Now again, there are so many more that I love, but these are really the ones that I feel for that drier skin type would really enjoy. This is a beautiful base before a fuller coverage if you'd like to, or just wearing it on its own. I would say this is a heavy light coverage. I know that those two words don't go together, but like it's not a super, you know, light, you know, BB cream coverage. It's a little bit higher than that. It will last you, I would say probably about mm, six to seven hours. So it's not extremely long wearing, but it does have skin benefits in it. So it has skincare in it. It is also obviously, we know, cruelty-free company, uh, but this is by far one of the best well done light coverage foundations on the market. She did a beautiful job on this. Um, yes, it's a little bit higher price point, but it is a stunning, stunning finish on the skin. And it is very well formulated. If you guys haven't got a sample of this from Nordstrom, please go do that and see if you like it. It would be beautiful for summer, honestly, just beautiful. I love this and I hadn't really worn it for a while, so rediscover for me. I'm going to give you an honorable mention. And this, the reason why I'm doing an honorable mention is because it's actually more of a matte foundation. It is the Benefit Hello Happy Foundation, okay? This, I am in color two and three. It just depends upon what my coloring is at that time. Uh, but every time I wear this foundation, I get the most amazing comments about my skin. 
I wouldn't say that it's super matte, uh, but it is definitely more of a skin-like finish to it. So it's not overly glowy. I love to pair this with a good illuminizing primer. Uh, one of my ones that I'm kind of obsessing about right now is the um, Sephora Beauty Amplifier. It's fantastic. And pairing those two together, this also will go with whatever skincare you put on first. It is a, a very kind of watery foundation. Uh, it has a very kind of nice slip to it. It really goes on very quickly to the skin. You just use your hands. It is a, I'd say a light medium coverage. So it is in the medium like kind of range, but it's just veering on light. Uh, but it stays on all day long. It is a stunning foundation. Obviously, we know we hope that Benefit someday soon will go cruelty free and look into their ingredients a little bit more. But I can't not say that this is something that I really honestly wear quite often. And I get so many compliments on this. And this is what I bring with me when I want something to really, really work. I wear this a lot on camera um, because it just has the most beautiful skin like finish to it for sure. Now, my last honorable mention will be a high-end foundation, a extremely high-end foundation, but if you are that girl and you want an extremely well-made foundation, y'all need to go look at La Mer. The, it's called La Mer, the Soft Fluid Long Wearing Foundation. It is extremely long wearing. Um, it is obscenely overpriced. I mean, to the point that I'm just kind of like, what? But it's a great foundation. Color selection leaves much to be desired, but I can't leave it out because it is such a well-made foundation. Now, if you don't care about ingredients, you still can go with this. If you do, it's not great. Um, La Mer is not known for super fantastic ingredients, in my opinion. They're not a cruelty-free company, as far as I know. You can correct me in the comments section. Um, they have fragrance in here, so it's not a super healthy foundation, but I couldn't let it go by without telling you. If you have not tried this foundation and this is something that is up your alley, go to Sephora, get a sample, and see if it would work for you. So those are my top five foundations for dry skin types, as well as two honorable mentions. Let me know in the comment section below what foundations work really well for you. Again, there are so many more that it was so hard for me to pick the top five, but I think these would be best really for the months that we're going into, which is the end of spring, of course, summer, and then kind of tipping into fall. So thank you so much for being here. Please go tell my friends, Risa and Stephanie, that I said hi and that I sent you, and I'll see you on the next one. Lots of love for me to you. Bye loves.